I'm joined by the incredible Jodie Comer. This oh, yeah. I'm good. I'm so good. And I feel like everyone's just in a great mood. Yeah, I know. It feels like a while since I've, I've done something like this, like got dressed up and gone out. And it's, yeah, it's always such a lovely day. And the sunshine and so it's beautiful. It's a bit different to last year. Obviously, we didn't have an audience and it feels nice that we get to share TV this time around. Of course, yeah. And there's so much amazing TV to celebrate. So it's nice. It's nice to be back here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're no stranger to the BAFTA TV Awards. You've won it before, the leading actress. Does it still feel as exciting getting a nomination again this year? Yes, of course. I don't think that will ever change and I hope it never does. I think the moment it does, then you need to maybe check yourself a little bit. But no, it's such an honour and, you know, to be a part of a film like Help uh, with the team who I was working with, it was such a, a pleasure, um, you know, and the, the, the film and the subject matter felt much bigger than all of us put together. So um, it's great to be here and see everyone. I haven't seen them since we finished filming. Well, I've seen Stephen, but I haven't seen Mark or Jack or anyone. So it'll be nice to see everyone. It's a little reunion. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I love that. Good excuse. Yeah, I mean, filming a piece of TV that is potent and serious and deals with something um, difficult, like the COVID pandemic, at a time when it's still going on around you, that must have been quite, quite an impactful time for you. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's the incredible thing as well about Channel 4 is that they really dare to tell those kinds of stories. And I remember when we started filming, we'd just gone into the third lockdown. Yeah. So we wasn't quite sure if we were going to actually be able to continue filming. Um, and then obviously playing through the pandemic within the film, with the characters having very little knowledge, but us in real life having much more knowledge of what was going on. It was very surreal, but um, it was amazing to see how everyone worked together to to make sure that we could create the film as best as we could, you know, under the circumstances. And I think that's also why it resonated with so many people yeah. so much. Um, just finally, I've got to ask now, the cultural phenomenon that is Killing Eve yes. is over. How do you feel looking back on it and knowing that it's done? Well, it's, it's been so recent, you know? Yeah. We, we finished filming in November, and I know that the, the final episode has only recently just gone out. So, um, and I've kind of, I'm doing theatre at the minute, so my head's been very kind of consumed by that. But it's strange, you know, but it's... That's it happens. is, yeah, Fine. exactly. All good things come to an end. Um, but I think it's probably much more fresh for the audience as it is for than it is for me. But yeah, well, I'm gonna let you go. Find your help, teammates. I will. I Have will. a great night and you, you best too. of luck. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Take care. See you soon.